another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to isolate an image that has been taken on a chroma screen like this one, which is green, and put it into a photo like this, or make it a little colder like this. All right, so I'll get rid of everything I've done. So we start out with an image like this with a portrait, and there's some fine hair detail on the edge, uh, but it's on green, so it's not too hard to isolate. So to isolate this image, I would go up to select, color range, and then click on the background, and generally you'll start out like this. So what you click on will be white, but we want what you click on to be black, so click this invert. And then fuzziness is how picky it is. We can have it pretty lenient because this color is all green, and we also don't want green in our image, so put it up pretty high. You can see that part of the grill is selected, but we'll fix that later. So once that's selected, click go OK. Now we can see there's the marching ants around our picture. And then just click this layer mask button. And now you can see she was pretty well isolated, but the shirt here and a couple of the areas are not quite perfect. So to fix those, we'll look at just the layer mask by pressing Alt and clicking on the layer mask. And now we have a black and white of our layer mask. So the best way to fix these is with the dodge and burn tool, which is over here. Burn always makes things darker, just like burning something would make it black, and dodge makes it lighter. So we want to dodge the highlights and fairly high exposure. And then we paint in quickly the areas we don't want masked out. Because we're using the burn tool, when we go onto the edge, it still keeps the black separate from the white. So we can just go over it quickly and still keep our mask accurate. So if we go back to our alt click on our layer mask again, it'll bring back our image. And if we zoom in on the edge of the hair here, uh, it looks pretty good, not too much green. If we want to reduce a little bit what is selected, we can switch to the burn tool and then burn in on the edge here and that'll take a little bit less. If you want to see what you're doing, you can press alt click on this background here. You don't have to be editing in this mode, you can also edit just the layer mask when the image is showing, depending on how much you want to see. So we can call that good. Then we can go and get our background. Now just press Ctrl A to select all, and then Ctrl C to select the image, and then Ctrl V to paste it in. Now I'm just going to resize this, and I'm also going to flip this layer, and pull it behind the other image of the girl. So there we have it. Fairly fine detail on the edge and isolated person on the image. One thing I like about using the this layer mask is you can rework the layer mask. For example, some people like to just press the delete key once they have the selection made, but if you do that, then you're sort of stuck with your changes. With using a layer mask, you can go back and re-edit your mask and make any adjustments in the future if you need to. And that's all you have to do. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.